Samsung Blade S5600 disassembly, screen replacement and repair remove your back cover, battery, SIM and memory card. Remove the six screws you can see, circled below. Run something like a credit card around the join of the battery compartment to release it from the rest of the phone. With the battery compartment removed your phone should look like below. Remove the two screws, circled in red. A ribbon connector, circled below in blue, needs to be disconnected. It attaches like a plug and socket. Just lever this up to unplug. Next. The micro switches for the volume, camera and phone lock buttons need to be released from the side of the phone. They're stuck to the side of the phone with double-sided tape and will peel away quite easily. Please note they will still be attached to the phone circuit board so take care not to damage those connections. You can now lift the metal plate away from the phone, as shown below. Another ribbon connector, circled in blue, needs to be detached. Again, this attaches like a plug and socket. Just lever it up to unplug. A second ribbon, circled in red also needs to be detached. This connects in a slightly different way to previous ribbons. Look at the socket where the ribbon enters and you'll see a black latch. Flick this up and the ribbon will be loose and can be pulled away from the socket. The ringer, circled in white, is stuck down with double-sided tape. This needs to be levered up until it releases. Note that it will still be connected to the circuit board by a wire. Make sure you don't damage this wire. A couple of clips at the bottom of the phone hold the circuit board and front cover together. Pry the front cover away from the circuit board at the point indicated by the arrow and this should release the circuit board. Lift the circuit board away from the front cover but note that it will still be attached at the other end so it cannot be removed completely just yet. Below you can see the underside of the circuit board. Two clips, circled in white, need to be released. Just push them up with your screwdriver. The circuit board should now be free. Slide your plastic tool under the metal plate in order to release it. With the metal plate released your phone should look like below. Now carefully slide your plastic tool under the very edge of the LCD screen. Go all the way round the edge of the screen and it will release. It's held in place lightly by a sticky gasket. You should now have the LCD screen removed. Reverse the whole procedure for reassembly. If you've found this disassembly guide useful, please support formimmobile.co.uk and order the tools and parts you need from our site. We ship worldwide.